What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Learning Roblox Studios. In today's episode, we are going to be covering the Sculpting Terrain course. As always, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you guys smash the like button, also hit the subscribe button, and turn those post notifications on if you guys want to get notified when I upload more Roblox development content. Additionally, I do have a Patreon if you guys like to support me or gain access to a lot of the scripts that I make in my other videos. There's a link down below in the description of the Patreon. You guys can check it out and support me if you're feeling kind enough. With that being said, let's get into it. Sculpting Terrain. Studios Terrain tools let you create realistic landscapes like oceans, mountains, rivers, and canyons. In this course, you'll sculpt a small island in the middle of an open sea. So of course, go into Roblox Studio and open up a brand new place. As usual, I just open up the place that we've been making this entire series, and this is where we're going to be sculpting at. Opening the terrain tools. The terrain tools can be opened from the home tab. So let's go up here. We already actually have the home tab open, and then we can see the editor right here next to the toolbox. Click on editor, and now we can see a terrain editor has popped up at the bottom left of our screen. Let's just move this box up a little bit so we can make it a little bit bigger. Now we are going to want to hit the edit tab, and we are going to select sea level tool so now that we have sea level tool selected we can see that a box has been generated what we're going to do is we're actually going to modify the size of this box we could do that by dragging these spears up down left right and everything like that sort of how you adjust the size of a normal part or we can type right in the map setting the size that we want and the size that we want is going to be 2000 by 100 by 2000 so there we go that is pretty big and now once we have that all set up we're going to go ahead and click create and here we go everything inside of this box has actually now just been filled with water Sculpting an island. Basic formation. The add and smooth tools can be used to block out terrain formations before you start fine tuning details. Select the add tool. So right here inside of the edit panel, we now have the add tool selected. When adding terrain, you'll see a grid appear around the mouse pointer. As you click and drag to create terrain, it'll align to the grid. To sculpt the island, aim the camera downward so that the grid is aligned with the water surface. So when we have the selected, we can actually see that a grid is created, but it's actually kind of aligned against just air. If we look directly down, now we can see it's directly aligned against the water so we can easily make a layout for our island. I'm just going to go ahead and try to make a little island real quick. Hopefully that looks good. And then we are going to fill it all inside of here. And then I'm also going to kind of make these edges look a little bit nicer. So it's all kind of the same height. While rotating the camera to different angles, create a rough island mass by layering the terrain on top of the water. So now what we're going to kind of do is we're going to move our camera down a little bit by using the Q key. And now we can actually see that the grid is now aligned more towards the top and not directly across what we've already made made. So now we can kind of lay it out a little bit different. We can also turn our camera a little bit and hopefully if we change our camera angle, there we go. It's once again aligned a little bit differently. So we can kind of increase the size of this a little bit. And then I'm going to do a little thing over here. Hopefully, I don't know, just to kind of make it look a little bit different and have a couple of different angles. And we'll actually just make this tall, see what happens with it, see if we can make something cool out of it. Who knows? So now if we want to, we can come down here and we can kind of see what our island looks like right now. It doesn't look like anything too crazy. It actually looks looks pretty bad in my opinion, but hey, we're still going with it. And this is just what it looks like from this point of view. Select the smooth tool, which is right in the terrain editor box. And now we can actually smooth out a lot of the edges and basically just kind of run this brush over all of the different edges. If you're kind of confused on what it's actually doing, if you look from this point of view, we can see that this is sort of how this almost wall looking rock or mountain sort of looks. Let's go ahead and hit this sort of bottom part with the smooth. And then when we move the smooth around, we can sort of see that it, it literally becomes a little bit smoother and the edges and everything like that are way less jagged. So we can look at this exact thing again and we could see there's a large difference. Originally it was kind of like just a box almost where it was like a straight line down. Now the ground down here and this mountain are much smoother and they kind of meet up in the middle and they come together rather than just being sharp edges which don't ever actually meet up. So we can continue to play with this a little bit just kind of drag it around different places. It makes everything look a little bit better. It makes it look like things are actually connecting correctly and meant to be connected. It makes them look a lot less like they are kind of just placed there in straight lines and everything like that. It kind of makes them look like they should be connected together and they're connected together nicely. So I don't think that was perfect, but I still think it's decent and it gets the point across. Painting terrain. To create a more natural looking island, you can use the paint tool to form sandy beaches. So select the paint tool and click on the sand material. Drag the brush around the edges of the island where the land meets the water. So we have the sand material selected and wow, just like that, we can easily drag this brush all all around where the island meets the water. And there we go. We just outlined our entire island with the sand material. Customizing the appearance. Each terrain material has a default color, but these can be customized to fit a specific theme like an Arctic wasteland or desert. You can also enable decorations such as moving grass. In the Explorer window, select the terrain object. So we're going to go into the Explorer, click Workplace, and then we have the terrain object. And then in the properties, we are going to look for material colors. And then we can click this to expand. And now we can actually modify how all of these different materials, what the co 
color of them will actually be. So for instance, by default, the two materials that we're using right now is grass, which is all of this stuff right here. And then we also have sand as well. So if we change the grass to say something from this green, we could change it to like red. Now it looks a little bit different and it looks very pink. We could also change it to a bunch of different colors and it looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to go ahead and change this to like a crazy vibrant looking blue. And then we can also modify the sand as well, which is down here. That's pretty good. So I like it like that. Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. Now we have a crazy looking island. Finally, all terrain of the grass material can be decorated with animated blades of grass by toggling on decoration. So now in the properties of the terrain, let's go look at decoration. And now we can see this is actually on already. So if we look closely, we can actually see the blades of grass are already moving. But if we disable this, we can actually see that all the blades or grass have been completely removed from this. There's a lot of other properties inside of the terrain that you can actually modify as well, like how reflective the water actually is. If you set that to zero, then the water looks like this and it's not reflective at all. But if you set it to one, it's very reflective and looks more natural. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. As always, if you did, make sure you smash the like button. Also hit the subscribe button and turn this post notifications on if you guys want to get notified when I upload more Roblox development content. Additionally, I do have a Patreon. If you guys like to swear me, there's a link down below in the description. You guys can go check it out, gain access to a lot of the scripts that make my other videos and support me if you're feeling kind enough. With that being said, I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next episode.